welcome to the video on um, applications of multiple integrals. So for this one, um, I'll actually not be really going over too many new concepts um, because just for this section in particular, there's not really any new concepts to go over. Um, however, there are a lot of um, added formulas uh, and you'll see that well, in my textbook that I'm using, um, it's on page 922. It's basically just at the end of this section, um, which for me is 16.5. And it's entitled Applications of Multiple Integrals. But anyways, um, there are some uh, additional formulas that they give you, um, and they're related somewhat to physics um, and such, such as like moments of inertia, um, things like moment of inertia, and um, center of mass kind of problems. Center of mass. But anyways, um, the table there in page 922 or whatever page it is in your book, um, at the end of this section, it basically just gives you um, other formulas that you could use to solve these problems um, specifically. But the process to solving the integrals, either the double integrals or the triple integrals, they're the same, basically. The setup is just a little bit different based on these formulas. So, um, as, as the title suggests, it's just ap applying what we've learned about double and triple integrals um, to actual, like, physical problems, basically. Um, so, yeah, I, as I said, I won't be going over new concepts or anything in this video, but um, I will be doing some problems in the practice problems video for this section. Okay? Alright, so... Um... You're walking away